mainly on apartments in Sri Lanka and worldwide, and major constructions such as universities and government institutions in Sri Lanka, who is also an educationist and professional and an exemplary entrepreneur who is planning to set up a hub on education and training at Halsdorf's the Center of Activities with Surado and Ambassadors Forum aiming at the same visions. His Excellency, uh, gentlemen, ladies and friends, it is a great pleasure to participate in this great event. Uh, everyone is talking about the foreign currencies and all that. It is a great move. I see there are more and more prominent people this time than previous event. <clears throat> it is my pleasure we needed a construction industry, uh, also one of the most important industry to bring foreign currencies to Sri Lanka. But uh, there are some limitations and challenges to overcome uh, to attract more investors to Sri Lanka, such as uh, our tax policies and the interest rate policies must attract foreigners to invest in Sri Lanka. Most of the countries, real estate is the highest contributor for the economy. If you take Dubai, even Thailand and uh, Vietnam, most of the country real estate has contributed massive way to the economy. As well as, uh, as uh, with our visionary leader, Mr. Vijay Singh, uh, PC, uh, he always mentored us to move it to the education sector as well. So therefore, we were in the education sector to recruit and uh, train competent and employable graduates. Uh, that means, uh, I think Professor Samarathunga is here, one of the eminent person. He should have talked this subject. Uh, I'm very happy the recent education ministry has all relevant resources and the competence and the knowledge to enhance our graduates to the next level. Even I participate recent one of the uh, meeting. They said the foreign universities are going to come to Sri Lanka. It is a great move, honestly. We need to benchmark ourselves with the foreign university to uh, benchmark our education system and recognize our grading system in the university. Uh, whereas, <clears throat> and, and also, not only that, so much of foreign currency is going out of country because of this limitation in our education system and the university entrances. I think we have to reduce that level of entrance system. So the all citizens of Sri Lanka, rather than going abroad and studying the same degree, we have enormous chances and opportunities to study over here. So if they can also pay and study, at least not free education, even pay and study, we will be able to save so much of foreign currency. And also university can run in their independent rather than everything expecting from treasury to fund uh, our uh, system. So therefore, I am very happy with the recent president initiative and the for a Ministry of Education. They have done so much of initiative to attract and brand our universities in the international standard. So as a Sri Lankan citizen, we are very confident this country can be turned around. But uh, there are some fiscal and financial policies of the country has to be uh, revised and revoked, uh, reform our country to attract uh, foreign investment. So thank you very much, uh, Mr. Vijay Singer. You are always encourage everyone, and you have brought a today massive crowd uh, to enhance these opportunities more and more to our nation. Thank you so much.